A hiker's family members gather near Mount St. Helens, anxiously awaiting word on their loved one. By Tuesday afternoon, they had received news no one wanted to hear. Joseph Bolig had died. Authorities say the veteran climber's body was recovered more than a day after a helicopter pilot had spotted him hundreds of feet down a crater partially covered in snow. On Monday, Bolig and his friend had reached the volcano's summit after a four-hour hike. They decided to pose for a picture at the rim of the crater. That's when a snow overhang gave way, and the 52-year-old climber fell 1,500 feet. He, you know, he wasn't wearing a helmet. Um, that's a long ways to fall, and, and that's a pretty nasty wall in there. Still, one sheriff's official says it appeared Bolig survived the fall and could be heard blowing his rescue whistle moments later. His climbing partner tried to toss him a survival kit. We, we were well prepared. We had clothing, food, water, um, uh, phones. Rescue crews spotted his body covered by snow with his head, arms, and legs sticking out, but windy and cloudy conditions forced them to call off attempts to reach him. A Navy helicopter found the body Tuesday on its second pass of the mountain. Authorities say an autopsy would be performed to determine if he died of injuries, hypothermia, or a combination of factors. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.